hello friends uh, in straight lines chapter we have done the two point form if you recollect the two point form is a way of finding the equation of a straight line when two points are given x1 y1 and x2 y2 so um, we have this equation here y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 now using this equation we can finally convert it to y is equal to mx plus c form if we know x, then we can convert y. This is a simple linear equation. Now, you may be wondering, what are these two insects uh, doing on this side? These are actually crickets, and uh, uh, crickets are actually very sensitive to the changes of temperature. Uh, the chirps uh, speed up as the temperature increases, and it slows down as the temperature decreases or as it gets cooler. The male uh, snow a snowy uh, tree cricket uh, has a certain chirping speed which uh, ornithologists have physically counted uh, to find out the relationship between the two. Now how do we actually uh, convert uh, or how do we find the temperature uh, when we know when we can count the number of chirps? There's a simple equation connecting that that is we count the number of uh, chirps in uh, 25 seconds and divide it with 3 and uh, add 4 to that and uh, once you get this this gives you the temperature so the temperature is the number of chirps in 25 seconds divided by 3 plus 4 so this connecting that c is equal to n by 3 plus 4 when you take an example uh, that uh, n is equal to 48 chirps in 25 seconds this with this can easily be counted we get c is equal to 48 upon 3 plus 4 and you get 28 20 degrees celsius uh, how do we use the two-point form to actually calculate this? Uh, scientists have uh, estimated that there are 120 chirps a minute when the temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit and around 168 chirps per minute at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Note that I have now changed the unit to Fahrenheit. Uh, so these are actually two points. We have 120 and 70, 168 and 80. So using the two-point form, y minus 70, upon 80 minus 70 is equal to x minus x1 that is 120 upon 168 minus 120. Now rearranging this we have y is equal to 10 by 40 into x minus 120 plus 70. Now taking y as t the temperature and x as n the number of chirps per minute we come up with this equation after simplifying. So uh, if you are able to count 150 chirps uh, in a minute, then substituting 150, we get t is equal to 5 by 24 into 150 plus 45. And that turns out to be 76.25 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is how we see, uh, connected two seemingly unrelated uh, things like the, uh, the chirps uh, of cricket with the temperature and we find a straight line equation connecting the two. So now at any stage, uh, if we know the number of chirps, we can find the temperature, or if we know the temperature, we can predict the number of chirps. These are some of the applications of linear equations. Uh, there are plenty of other applications uh, of linear equations, which we'll be talking about in a little later uh, in the other video. The, thank you for watching, friends, and have a good day ahead. Enjoy.